opened in 1930. There used to be a door where the women's restroom is that you came in out. The bar was only 12 feet long, booze and chairs. Over the years, things didn't change too much from the original owner. His name is Frederick Frolic, and they called it Freddy Frolic. They took the C and put a K up, or took the K down and put a C up to make it politically correct. Yeah. He owned it for 40 years, sold it to another gentleman that uh, didn't do anything else to it. Then the next person came along and extended the bar as you see it now. Yeah. Uh, it's what 1963, that? the bathroom, the ladies room left. We used to have a door and a stall. There was no sinks, there was nothing. And the ladies room still shows that, but the men's room doesn't because we went 88 for handicap. So we took that out. He has the door up the men's room here, which has, up the trash which has, no, I had the girl that I met, did re we traced Frank and Marilyn off, off the mural, Marilyn's on our women's room door, yeah. that was in 2000, I met, and I met the artist to do our first in theater, and I met the next guy, Oscar, Bobby Hyder, and the owner, this time, plastic, to keep the vandalism off. Oh, it's a it into it. Sharpie. You can't take Sharpie on anything. Sharpie bleeds through it, everything. That's why. Yeah, so but 1963, these light fixtures came elsewhere. And they weren't all red, red and white. Yeah, well, they, they came, they were used when they got to 63. Uh, there's a photo on the wall. The bars outside were all pastel colors. And each one of these fixtures at one time was pastel. They were green and they were beige. When LA Confidential filmed here, they painted all that. We decided to leave it that way. So if you watch LA Confidential, space it walks out, unbutton the shirt, the camera from the string walks out, but the bar's on the butt. Then there's another single for me get the frolic room. Charles Bukowski used to sit over in the corner my poetry. He's up on the up there. Yeah, I live two blocks. Square. It's a monument. Yeah. Where's that? Where's that? Here it's on a half mile. So it's, it's on a uh, Lexington between um, Normandy and. Oh, uh, is that the Bungalow Court? Yeah, about? Bungalow Court. They just bungalow. They have they have a sign there. Does anyone does anyone live in there now? Yeah. It's still an apartment complex. It must be annoying. I mean, well, they, well no, but the sign's out. At, the sign's out on the parking strip. It's not in the private property. Yeah. They said we're trying to tear it down. Yeah. No, it's it, it's pretty much on the metal pole, pretty much stuck there. You know, if you get caught tearing down a monument sign, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. So in '63, they redid it, extended the bar. We st uh, still use carpet. We clean it every three weeks. We try tile. That was a pain in the ass. More than a And then back to the bar. This bar can be changed any interface you want. You want you want 1930s? They add a few things like LA Confidential. They covered the payphone we just have with a box. They put lights up here. It looked like 1930. When they did the LA Confidential, they changed a few things to make the error right. Like take out the lava machine or stuff like that. But we still are Hollywood's old bar. Uh, we're just a bar, we're not a nightclub. We don't serve food. You know, we're, that, our sign is so famous, it's isn't funny. If you go back to the Academy Awards when they were next door, our sign is in. And I have a photo of that home in my apartment on my wall. We got Lou Lewis and Lou Lewis in here, in his band. And the other photo has me in it, which is home on my wall. We've got, we've had, you slow me down, all these people are, you know, Paul Gasol. That's the stage hands in there, and we uh, had no doubt in here from filming around the magazine. So, is it true that Alan Hale was the first picture of his own wall? I'm not sure he's been. That's Alan Hale. Skipper. Skipper. Oh, yeah. It's drawing. Right. He used something called the Lobster Barrel about two miles away a year ago. He had a restaurant. So, oh, it's like on that semi show. It's a sea orient. Yeah. yeah. Being that he's a skipper. He's a skipper. Yeah. You know, uh, you know that to know the skipper. You know that 70 shows? Yeah. The guy goes, the old the dad goes, there's something about that skipper. He's always calling him his little buddy. <laughs> uh, 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 I got a beer over here. There's a lot. But yeah, I mean, everything on the, on the, on the wall, which everybody's been here, 311 wrote a song about it. I think we're about to show you the head front and show the teaser. I mean, now it's back coming back. The Ruby Rednecks are long-term friends of us. Uh, 
family guy. Yeah, well, this is family guy. Everybody in here feels friends. I mean, also, people that knew the dog was funny for a while. They got shit down. They got the newer stuff over here. They got the older stuff over there. They got Halloween. They got like Halloween. They got like Halloween. They got a picture in the 70s. So it used to be an old wheel to old shit down the street. I grew up here for quite a while. I don't remember the old wheel to old shit. Kirk Gibson drink here, or is that just from the East Coast? No, that's, that's just something about that we're good. We have another guy named Valdemir called Valdi. Hello, Valdi! Oh, he, he brought that in. Yeah. Just recently, we were listening to the best bars in America. We went Google this. Best bar in America. He said, this really nice pack of it over the doorway. That's recent. We were one of the best 17 bars in the United States. So if you want to go to Google, just Google best bars in America, the TV show will come up. So we, we had a friend of ours start this picture here, gave it to us. We have another one taken by another customer. Happy Sweet. Uh, 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 He's up here, but this is a Al Hirschman mural. Both murals are evenly done, same thing. Okay. When I had it renovated, I had to have a little roundabout with Oscar. W.C. Phil doesn't drink wine. He was a gin drinker, five bottles a day. That's why he had the big nose. Yeah. This is, he was. And I, I asked her, you don't have people on this side, people. The, the mural family is something. This is actually on muslin, which is a canvas. It's not wallpaper. Wallpaper was disintegrated. So muslin is the same thing they use in the, in the movie industry. They, they put muslin, they glue it on, then they paint it with the holes and left. Then they paint on that. This is why we did this. The owner's not afraid of spam like you know, you know, I've worked for this guy for 22 years. I've known him for 30. Very great. He's a landmark. He's a landmark. This is like the whole building's a yeah, landmark. Yeah. You can't, we can't even touch the DSI without asking the culture. You know, you have to go through all the sounds. Just fuck with you. Leave it on. All right. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. The drop ceiling went in um, the 70s. The ceiling used to be 10 feet up, and that's how old the bar was. There was no AC here. But when Bob and Don bought it, they put an air conditioner in with the drop ceiling. 63 the lights came in. And I'm going to charge the maintenance. I pretty much can do what I want. 